to all Patreons and uh, channel members for uh, supporting me. Uh, I'll be releasing project files to my Patreons and uh, exclusive tutorials for uh, channel members. For details, please check link in description. Thank you. Hello everyone. This is Mr. Bus. Welcome back to my channel. So uh, in this video, we will uh, set up the projectile for, for our uh, uh, drone AI. So now when it shoots, we just uh, are getting the muzzle effects and so uh, we will add the uh, projectiles also uh, so it will hit the player and uh, uh, we will also do a change in strafing uh, so when the, when the player is not out of sight, uh, it looks like it's investigating that area so we will do that also so in the drone uh, uh, base in previous video we set up a projectile actor uh, here so we did set up a projectile actor here so uh, um, we will create that So under your blueprints, create a folder for uh, projectiles and create a blueprint class actor. Name it as drone projectile base. And I have imported the particle system from uh, the military weapon pack uh, like earlier. So you can use the same. So now here add a sphere collision. Make this the root. Add a particle system and then add a projectile moment. Okay. On the sphere, reduce the size to five and if you scroll down uh, simulation generates hit events then on the collision presets uh, select custom and this has to be like uh, camera and visibility set to ignore and the remaining all set to block and uh, here it's better we create one more uh, 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 collision response channels so go to your uh, project settings and under uh, collisions the object channel create new object name it as object type and set this to ignore by default and when you come here to your uh, projectile base so you get the projectile and this has to be in ignore by default so this is to avoid uh, one projectile hitting with other one and on the particle system Select the assault rifle uh, tracer. I've used this. You can you can use anything you want. And on the projectile movement, set the initial speed to 3000, 3000, and uh, gravity scale set it to zero. And I think that's it. yeah. Now on the coding part, uh, first let's see how this works. Okay, we didn't uh, assign this uh, before assigning the base directly. Create a child actor. So this will help you to keep different uh, type of projectiles for uh, each drones. So select the projectile actor here, and 
even here we can create a child create child blueprint so we will remove this and add the child Open this child. On the projectile actor and select R. Drone projectile zero one. Okay, they are spawning. I think uh, they are colliding with the drone character. Uh, I think I forgot to set one more value on the projectile. The projectile movement velocity we have to set. So this has to be 3000. Now let's see. So uh, the, the the muzzle was colliding with the the drone's body. So that's the reason it was stopping there. So now it is firing and it is hitting at the points and uh, the projectile is stopping. So we'll add the code for that. Go to the projectile drone base. We don't need all this. Uh, get an event hit and promote this to a variable and promote even this and disable the collision of the spear Set the visibility also and propagate it to children so that all the underneath objects also will be uh, visibility will be set to none and then and then uh, you have to put the uh, player damage code uh, here the code to uh, damage your uh, player so I haven't uh, added any health uh, on this project so that that's available on my main project. So what I will do is I'll uh, put in a separate video on uh, how to integrate uh, this drone to the main project and there will be a couple of uh, features that you will still be coding. So that I'll do it on the main project because uh, that involves uh, health numbers, uh, firing towards the drone, so those things. People who are uh, following this drone uh, tutorial on a fresh project, uh, if you have a weapon system of your own, uh, then you can use that uh, and use its damage system uh, to hit on the uh, drone. and. Uh, 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 you can take the base logics, uh, basic logic from these tutorials, uh, like uh, on on what happens when it when the drone explodes, 
and uh, how we are changing the mesh there so those things you can follow from here but uh, if you are following on a fresh project uh, it's better to use your own uh, weapon system uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video bye